everybody we are out shopping again today I am at Dillard's Dillard's is typically my go-to place to find shoes in town that is Lexington um, I immediately found a pair that I love look at this okay we talked a little bit before about Steve Madden's it's not my favorite brand this one actually isn't too bad it does bend a little bit this will probably be a shoe I would you know go out to dinner in or some type of activity where I'm not gonna be standing a lot so I'm gonna pick this one up because I'm definitely getting my size in this one um, let's keep moving here. I saw my Toms again. So this is a great video for spring. A lot of the new collections out. Um, Toms I typically really like. This is a little high. I do love the back strap, of course. Um, but there's a bit of a platform, so it makes it seem like it's taller than it actually is. It's a little too tall for my my foot. Go with something a little lower. Mm. I like the chunky heel. We talked about that before. This is a no-no. There's absolutely no support in the rear foot at all. So this is going to be hard for you to keep this on your foot. This is a classic pair. I can wear these generally when I'm not going to be on my feet a lot. Alright, let's keep moving. Ooh, Chacos. They have a really good selection. This is highly recommended for um, spring and summer. You can see the arch support built in. Obviously, it's got the straps to hold on your foot, and there's cushion. I think the majority of people love this shoe. In general, everyone you know, has a great result when they wear this. Even higher arch, cushy, it doesn't bend and flex a lot, which you know I love. They've got lots of selection here. So, you may want to stop by and check it out if you're in town. This will be great if you are you know, at a reunion or you're outside, not doing like, mowing or something like that, but if you're you know, at some type of event um, and want to be comfortable, I would highly recommend something like this. Bionic, everyone asks me about Bionic shoes. Some of the dress shoes I love and the tennis shoes, F. I, I haven't found any of the Bionic tennis shoes. I don't think they came far enough to um, have a really good tennis shoe. But a lot of the um, flip-flops are good. Of course, they've got the built-in arch support. Not every Bionic is good. Just keep that in mind, and that includes sandals. Again, look for a strap in the back, especially if you have a hard time um, wearing sandals and flip-flops in general. Uh, we've got some new ones out. This one, I think, will be very comfortable. Nice heel high, strap around the ankle. This one I would probably steer clear of. Again, the back's open. Um, it's going to be cushy for you, which is great. This is another one that would be very comfortable. Nice rubber tread on the bottom. Cushion. I mean, the height is good. It looks higher than what it actually is because, of course, we've got that built-in platform. So you can take an inch off of the height of that heel. So you're only looking about that much, which is great. So I think that if you chose that one, you would find that very comfortable. This one, again, steer clear. There's no support. This is a little better if you want something like that. Strap around the ankle. Keep it on. Let's keep moving the espadrille here. I'm so glad these are back in style. I wore these as a kid. I loved them. Again, perfect heel height. Hmm. I might come back and get those. All right, let's keep moving. Echo, in general, another great shoe. Again, not, not all Echoes are built the same. Something like this, it's a little bendable, not bad. Um, it's really goes down your foot very well. Tennis shoes, these are really popular. These that came in not last year. This will be a very comfortable shoe. Nice and cushy rubber on the bottom. It's gonna hang onto your heel nicely. I like those. Lace up even better. Cushion. Oh wow, okay, hold on here. So they've got two liners in here. They've got an arch support already built into the sole of the shoe. And they also have a nice cushy um, insert that sits over top of it. It's, I think this would be great. They've got all kinds of stuff here. All right, let's go into some more favorites. I've got Keens, another great, very similar. Um, obviously the Merrells, another good one now. I don't like clogs again, and you know why now. 
even though patients will come in and say, well, there's a bit of a heel. There's really not. I mean, you're looking like an inch. You're still gonna walk right out of it. Um, and you can find others very similar that are gonna be way more comfortable for you. Right, see, here we go. Move on. You can do this to a, sh a shoe. Don't even bother. Take a peek here. See, this is a lot more sturdy. some horns that are not good so always keep it in mind again no no let's move on something like this would be better lots of cushion watch if you have issues with um, arthritis in the forefoot area or even the midfoot shoes that bend like this is going to irritate that so you want something that's stiff sole let's see see look at this one this one's actually has a heel and it's stiff so just kind of pick them up and play with them most of the time, I really don't care about the name brand. Um, I just look for the materials that are consistent with what you know would be the, the most comfortable. Okay, more Merrells. This is a new brand. This is oh the Mephisto. Mephisto in general is good, of course. Love the um, the insole here. Nice heel cup, but you don't really have any support in the room. But, and I know people love these, and I think they're good for, you know, someone that has a really easy foot type. You know, if you're on the, the polar ends of that, then something like this is probably going to give you some issues. Sandals. Let's look at our foot pop, something good for the beach. Signum is definitely a, a brand that I wear. And this is whenever you're going to the pool, you're not going to be walking a lot. Something like this. The sole of the shoe is actually, I think they say it's made from a yoga mat, so it's very comfortable. Um, and a nice solid strap here on top is going to help. You know, again, you're not walking around a lot, so it doesn't really matter, but at least you want the foot to be comfortable. Reef is another brand I wear, and I know they have these here. Um, similar sole, nice and cushy. Still watch the amount of flexibility in the shoe. This particular pair I wouldn't recommend. Um, something a little firmer I think would be more comfortable for you. Soft. This brand's been around apparently forever. I think they're becoming more popular, at least we're carrying them here in town now. This is actually a very good brand. Again, look at that. It's not moving. Look at the cushion. You can see right here, that's all cushion. Straps in your ankle. Easy. I think most of these another good one. Look how cute that is. Watch the height. However, if you can typically wear heels, this is nice because it has a built-in arch support in there. issues um, or arthritis pain in the big toe joint. This you want to avoid. Again, no uh, rear foot support. Something like this would be a much better option. This is going to be comfortable. I guarantee it. Sole, cushion, it's not bending or moving, and solid ankle support. I mean, they're really, it's the same rules with every shoe. Once you kind of get the hang of it, I'm a shoe shop on the five seconds, even though I mean, look at all these shoes. I can run through here and be like, yes, yes, no, no, not a problem. Um, Uggs. I love the Uggs have gotten away from the big fluffy ones. Most people wear those without socks and they're absolutely disgusting and they stink. Um, so this style of shoe is, I wear the other varieties going to be comfortable. I have actually have a pair of winter boots of my Uggs and I love the soles with rubber. Um, I can wear them all day long without any issues and it actually has a wedge too. Okay, this is too high, <laughs> obviously. Let's move on from that. Um, but the, here we go. Oh, another espadrille. Perfect height. Nice and cushioned. Contoured arch. Perfect. Okay, so let's 
let's look at some cuter stuff now. Those over there are more sensible. Now let's get into shoes you would actually wear out to dinner or you know something with a nice dress. Um, this is a Vince Camuto. I love this brand. Look at the heel. Perfect height. Support around the um, rear foot. You're good to go. I highly recommend something like this. Um, same, different color, same style. Something like this, even better. More of a chunky heel. This will be very comfortable. And the pitch here in the arch is not bad at all. I think this would be an easy shoe to wear. I mean, they've got lots of options. Look at that. Even better. Heel's fine. Uh, but it's locked in your entire foot just at that. So whenever you get into, I know certain designers typically, you know, have shoes that are around the same kind of style or heel height. Let's go over to the Jessica Simpson table. And I know a lot of people love this. I love these. Where'd they go? Are we going to sit here? Gianna Beanie. Now I have some flats I love, but some of these are just crazy. Now I know I have girlfriends that can wear these. I don't want to hear it. Um, something like this for people that have any type of foot issue, bunion, it, hammer toes, it's going to make this worse. Heel pain, this is just impossible to wear long term and to expect your feet not to be in any pain for the, you know, the whole evening or whatnot. I mean, well at least they have some, you know, support here around the back. But that, the heel height is just nuts. So, let's move on. It's so easy because the height to me is just like, I can't wear this, I can't wear that. Some of those have platforms too. Yes, they do. So, but you're still looking, number one, it's a stiletto, and stilettos have just give you so much more instability whenever you're walking, you're almost kind of just balancing there. Um, so you can take off about an inch. Um, so you're looking about from here to here, but it's this, this pitch coming down, this decline. You're pretty much just walking on the ball of your foot all night. So I don't know many people that can do that. If you can, good for you. This, um, whatever. <laughs> the design wise, in the heat, in the, there's no rear foot support. So I think this is gonna be something you're gonna have a hard time keeping on your foot and comfortable all night. No. This is something that's more reasonable. Um, just a little bit of heel support. It is still a little kitten heel. Um, and look at the pitch difference. I mean, it's gonna be a much more gradual in, um, decline. So you're putting weight on your heel at least and not just balancing on the tire, entire ball of your foot. Does it matter that it's ugly? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going for features, okay? Mm -hmm. hey. oh, wow. I can't even really tell what goes where with this one. Okay, this is a very good example. Okay, I wonder why your feet hurt in heels. Make it easy, drop it down just a bit. Um, at least I've got some options for wedgies here. This is still gonna be too high, but that's a huge platform. So in reality, it's only that much of a heel. So not bad. So take the time and look at these simple little things and you can tell um, what's something that your foot's gonna be able to wear for the duration of the day. And then I always say, you know, like, what shoe do you wear? Well, I have about 15,000 shoes. That's because I look at what I'm doing for the day. Am I going to be in the house cooking, cleaning, grocery shopping, stuff like that? Or am I going to be going to dinner, going to Keeneland? It just depends on what I'm doing for what particular shoe I wear. When I'm in the house, um, you know, doing a lot of activity, I'll definitely have my tennis shoes on with my um, orthotic. If I'm not, I'll typically choose something sensible if I'm going to be out, but not on my feet. You know, something like a wedge or, you know, this is a normal shoe I would be out, you know, wearing. It's very, it's a fry, super comfortable. I could wear these all day. Uh, at dinner, I would go higher. That's pretty much the only time I wear high heels. And if you ever go to dinner with me, it's rare that I have heels on at all because I just find they're extremely uncomfortable. But something that has more support, See, this is too high, like, who can wear this? I mean, good for you if you can, but the majority of Americans cannot. Um, here's, here's my style. Right? Watch the pointy toes, people that have bunions, um, hammer toes, you're gonna have an issue with this because it's gonna cram everything in there and just make your condition worse. As you can see, there's tons of options here at Dillard's. If you have any questions, please drop a comment below. How can help you out? You can even take a picture of your shoe and post it there. And I can kind of give you the thumbs up or thumbs down. 
Like I said, it takes me five seconds to decide if this is a good shoe or a bad shoe. And I always say just be smart about it. Depends on you know what your activity is for the day, what type of shoe you should have on your foot. So take those words of advice. Good luck and happy hunting. If you have any favorite shoes that you love, please take a picture and put them on the uh, comment link. I would love to see what you're wearing at home. All right, take care. See you soon.